Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are hopping in and we are going to be talking one of the most interesting and cool things that got added to the Grounded 1.0 update and that is trinkets. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys not only the location of both the parts in order to build one of your own trinkets that is awesome and we'll go over that in a little while. We're also going to be going over all the different Ominent Lab badge locations that I know about and we're also going to be showing you guys where to get probably the best trinket in the game. So let's get in and let's start talking about trinkets, shall we? So first things first, let's talk about the three easy to get trinkets that I know about. I actually know of four of them, but we'll go over the three that I have right here. So the first one is an insulating larva spike. It literally means it gives you sizzle protection. You just put this on and you have extra sizzle protection. You get this from killing in the ladybird larva. This berry, this is a rotten berry charm, a piece of grotesque berry that seems to bring out the innate power of rotten weapons. It gives rotten deluge. I'm going to show you guys where to get this in just a second. And then we have a suspicious ice cap. This literally you get from going through and breaking out um, ice mint candies and it gives you fresh attack. And I'll show you guys where I got this one from as well. So let's start off with the berry chunk. Okay, so the first piece, the berry chunk, is actually over here. If you guys remember that berry lab that we had for a really long time, it's actually back in here. You're going to need a bomb in order to get back inside of here. But once you're in here, you'll run down this staircase that's right here. And if you take a right, right here, sitting in this big berry splat right here, is going to be where that trinket is. On the map, guys, I'm actually in the wall right here. That's where that berry trinket is going to be so if you guys are wanting to get over there and get that one that's where that one is now i'm going to show you where the ice caps mint location is Okay, so this one you're actually going to need to build in order to get to. I'm way back in the back of the yard here. This is up where the sticky key is as well. You'll build up here after you run all the way up from the lawnmower, jump onto the ladder, run all the way down, build your way up here, and there's actually a giant ice mint pieces that are right here. If you just go ahead and break these, you're going to end up getting one of those suspicious mint pieces. And what that one does is it actually adds fresh attack to every single attack that you do. It's a very powerful thing for you to have for the future of the game. All right, let's get on to the next one. All right, so now we are going to be going through and we're going to start talking ominent badge locations. Now, one thing about the ominent badges that I do want to point out to all of you guys is the fact that each of the badges have a bonus and a negative bonus to it. So it's a positive and a negative for each of these ominent badges. I'm going to go over all the ones that I currently know about, starting way over here on the side of the hedge. Way over here on the side of the hedge, there's a little skeleton that's right here. When you rummage through the bones of it, you get a couple different things. You get a a compliance officer recon journal which you guys can go ahead and read through that if you so want to but I'm not going to be reading through that right now that's for another video we also have a suspicious snapshot one with suspicious snapshot two and we got a badge so this badge that's right here this one is parry heal but damage resist so every time you parry you're going to end up getting health back but do also lose damage resistance, making it so you're more susceptible to damage. But this is the compliance badge, one of the new badges that got added to the game. On to the next one. Okay, so this one is going to be more dangerous for you guys to get. It's in the upper yard area over by the grill spill. This one's still a little tricky. What I want to warn you guys about this one is that there's going to be a lot of ladybird larva and you have to go over by the charcoals in order to get it. But it's actually right here. It's really hard to see until you get close there's actually a giant skeleton uh, skeleton right here on top of a giant rock uh, underneath a giant rock i should say and you have the entomologist badge over here that gives you plus two attack but you can never perfect block again i'm gonna go ahead and take all of those things right there and you have the entomologist journal that you can go through and read through if you'd like to as well like i said more on that in another video all right, so this next one is going to be another tricky one to get to, guys. You're actually looking for this giant blue ice caps um, lid right here, and you're actually going to jump underneath it. Now, you get a little bit of a bonus of this one as well, but this is where the location of it is inside of the yard. It's way up here in the upper backyard. What you need to do is you need to jump underneath it, and you're going to need a tier 3 chopping tool, like a tier 3 axe. If you guys go over to that berry location, there's a tier 3 axe in there that you can get. More on that in 
in another video. But let's go over here. We're going to run on down here and we're just going to make our way through here. And as you make your way through, you're going to see a lean to and another skeleton. This skeleton, when you rummage it, gives you one of the coolest building badges in the game. It gives you the intern badge, which gives you hauling strength plus five or yeah, no i'm sorry it adds you to hauling strength 15 and you also get a note but the negative with this intern badge is that it also makes it so you move really 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 slow now the bonus i wanted to give you guys about this badge is that there's actually a bunch of ice the of the milk molars in here that you guys can go through and break down for yourself and get a bunch of milk molars for yourself all right, so for this one, I'm actually starting inside of the pond lab. What you want to do is once you're in here, you want to jump out this giant square in the middle down into the lower pond area. And you want to swim over here towards where one of the switches is that you need to switch in order to gain access to the lab. And when you're over here, I'm act there's actually an easy way for you guys to miss this one because not a lot of people come over here for this scabby anymore, but it's right next to a scabby that's in here. One of the things I'd like to add as well is that they did turn off this fan that's in here, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, and then swimming down this tunnel, we just swam right from over there. Down there is where the switch is. You want to go right up over here, and it's actually on this skeleton right here. You're going to get the Toxicity Badge, which gives you Dust Guard and Gas Guard, which means you can just use this to go fight all your stink bugs now. And you also have the Recon Journal Toxologist, and you guys can read through that, as well as another suspicious photo. But on to the next one. Okay, so this next trinket, we're actually going to be inside of the pond as well. But this is the start to Sarah's trinket. This is one of the two pieces that you're going to need. I decided to start from inside of the pond just to give you guys a general idea of how to get wherever we are going. Now, what you want to do is you want to come straight out of here and you're going to swim straight for this hatch along this side of the wall. We're going to get into that building that's right there. You want to open this up, go on in here, swim up here. You will need the assistant manager's key card to access this door, get through this door and inside of this box, you can find the first trinket piece, the left elf charm. Okay, so let's go over a really quick preview of the left elf charm here really quick. This is a pebblet villager or pebble villager uh, elf that reaches for something to the right. It feels important. It gives you invincible shielding as soon as you put this on, meaning that every now and then when a enemy attacks you, you your armor is going to be repaired. This is a powerful charm, guys. Also, on top of that, with this, you also unlock a crafting recipe as well. This crafting recipe is right here. It's called Sarah's Charm, and you need two different pieces. I'm going to show you where to get the right elf charm piece in just a second. But what this does is it gives you invincible attack and invincible shielding, meaning it's going to give you repaired weapons and armor whenever you're wearing this. So you just go fight some lower level bugs, and you'll be able to repair all of the way. Now, let's go over and show you guys where the second charm piece is all right guys so this one is probably going to be one of the most deadly ones you guys are going to make your way over to if you guys are trying to get this other trinket piece um because this place is surrounded by ticks spiny water fleas fire ants wolf spiders i mean it's literally surrounded by stuff but you need to get in here and you need to press a button in order to get in here right by where sarah's charm was right behind you there's a button you press that and you come up here i'm literally smack right in the middle of this log and you're going to drop down here now bringing a tuft in here is probably a great idea so that way you don't die on your way down or you can just jump through like a pro like that somehow and make your way up here now you want to make your way all the way across and up inside of this jumping challenge because this is where you got to go to get this charm piece it's a little bit hidden it's kind of a pain in the neck to get but you just jump up over here and you guys may have seen it if you spotted it just for a second but it's right there inside of that chest you want to jump your way over here and inside of this chest you have a beefy human food smoothie a granola bar and the right elf charm which gives you invincible attack now i'm going to grab this one and i'm going to meet you guys back at my base so we can talk what the best charm that i have found in the game is 
Okay, guys, so we've gone over all sorts of different locations from four different ominent badges to all sorts of other things. Now, before we go in there, I did promise you guys one other easy to find one, and that is that there's actually a dandelion tuft that you can get randomly from harvesting dandelions. I had it right before the start of the video, and then I used it and broke it. So it just makes it so you can fall from higher distances with your dandelion, and it's abstain less damage, more or less it lasts longer. It's a better dandelion tuft, and it's called a fluffy dandelion tough. Now, this last one that we're after is actually called Thor's Pendant. It's Dr. Tully's other child's pendant, and it's really cool, and it gives you a boost to a bunch of skills. So it's a really, really good one for you guys to find, and I'm going to show you guys that location right now. All right, for this one, we're back over at that large log, but we're not actually going to that one. We're going to this tipped over log that's over here. And what you want to do is you want to make your way up the right side of this log. Now, it's going to be tricky because this place is full of broken down stuff. But if you guys follow this path, you should be able to easily jump up on top of the log. Then it's just making your way through the log all the way to the back side of it. If you just climb up right here, you should be able to get pretty high here. Ipsy daisy and up we go jumping up over here that mosquito will leave us alone in just a second you follow it around way up here keep on following guys and you'll know you're in the right spot because you'll be on this giant outward spike right here and there should be a raw science right over here turn yourself right around because we already ran right past it so you want to run right over here and this is probably one of the most difficult ones to find because of how small it actually is but right back tucked in here very very small is thor's pendant so you want to go ahead and grab that guy right there grab up thor's pendant and take a look at it this says Pendant. Now, what this does, it's a shining helm emblem of the Minotaurs and Mimirdons logo on a simple chain, a shrunken keepsake from Thor that inspires perseverance. This pendant literally adds to like every single one of your stats, literally a smattering of enhanced stats for an endurance journey, an otterous journey. So literally it increases all of your stats. I think it's by like 10 or 15 percent. It increases all your stats. So this new weapon or this new pendant is awesome this is the best pendant in the game now this is me going off of not i haven't done like testing to see how what percentage of the stats is i've been told this by reading a couple different uh guides but all in all that is the best pendant that i know of in the game and the best trinket that i know of inside of the new grounded update so i hope you guys like this guide if you guys did make sure you guys hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below if you guys know of any other trinkets i know of i think there's like 20 some of them in the game and i know that there's one for donuts i know there's one for sour candy i know there's one for spicy candy so you just got to get out there take a peek and look for them and if you guys find the locations let me know down in those comments but thank you guys so much and as always i'll see all of you you guys in the next one.